All aboard! I'm not sure if they say that in Japan, but it sure makes for a good first line of a video. Brad Pitt stars in Bullet Train, and the new action comedy looks like a bit of fresh fun. Pitt is joined by an ensemble cast of talented actors. Who are they playing and what's going on in this trailer? Join me, Chris Goodmakers, as I give you everything you need to know about Bullet Train. The new movie is based on the novel of the same name by Kotaro Isaka, Originally published in Japan under the title Maria Beetle, the book was a bestseller. It was later translated and published internationally under the title Bullet Train. Full disclosure, I haven't read it yet. I'll probably pick it up soon, but come on. Horizon Forbidden West and Elden Ring are out, and the Batman is three hours long. I only have so much time. Don't we all? The plot of the novel follows the self-proclaimed unluckiest assassin in the world, nicknamed Ladybird. The assassin is tasked with retrieving a briefcase from a bullet train. The train is headed from Tokyo to Morioka, and unbeknownst to Ladybird, there are some other deadly passengers aboard. First is a pair of hitters named Tangerine and Lemon. The two are after the same briefcase that Ladybird is supposed to get. When they cross paths with Ladybird, they also collide with Prince and Kimura. Prince is a young, innocent-looking boy who is a master manipulator and cold sociopath. His last victim was another young boy he pushed off a roof. The victim was left in a coma, and his father Kimura is on board the train for revenge. Kimura was a hitman himself, but is now a depressed alcoholic who wants to end Prince's spree. When all five cross paths, it starts to raise questions amongst the group. Are they all on this train together for a reason? Again, a healthy video game addiction has kept me from reading the novel, so I'll leave further synopsis up to a more informed party. However, the plot is a good fit for an action feature, which is why it attracted the attention of Anton Fuqua. The novel was announced as a film in 2020 with Anton Fuqua producing. Fuqua is known as a director of some of the best action films of the past 20 years, including Training Day, Shooter, and Olympus Has Fallen. I'm gonna stick my knife through your brain. Fuqua has moved into a producing role in the last few years. This is his second film as a producer only. This time, director David Leitch has been hired to conduct the locomotive. Train puns. Leitch has seen recent success as a director with Deadpool 2 and Hobbs and Shaw. But before that, he was a prolific stuntman and stunt coordinator. He's responsible for the stunt work in Tron Legacy and The Bourne Legacy. He does the occasional non-legacy related film too. The screenplay is written by Zach Olkowitz, who has previously only penned the script for the second installment in Netflix's Fear Street trilogy. Any adaptation is bound to go through some changes from its source material, and Bullet Train is no different. Character names have been slightly adjusted because the biggest change from book to film is the cast. If you're gonna open a movie that isn't a sequel or a superhero film, it helps to have some big names. There are not many names bigger than Brad Pitt. In profile, I mean, not length. Lots of actors have longer names, which is why they also cast Aaron Taylor Johnson. It's important to cover your bases. Brad Pitt is a storied actor who... <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know you know who Brad Pitt is. He's the guy on the couch in True Romance. Pitt is playing unlucky assassin Ladybug. In the trailer, Ladybug is set up as having recently returned from some kind of break. He has a new outlook on life and wants to be a nicer person. In the trailer's opening, he is talking to Lemon as played by Brian Tyree Henry. As I mentioned before, Lemon is one of the two people sent to intercept the plot-driving briefcase. Brian Tyree Henry has had some huge success in the past five years with major roles in Godzilla vs. Kong, Into the Spider-Verse, and the hit TV series Atlanta. He is a versatile actor who is full of comedic energy. Playing the other side of this pair is Aaron Taylor Johnson as Tangerine. Hey, both Brian and Aaron once helped Godzilla. Hashtag lizard bros. Johnson is of course known for the 2014 Godzilla film, but he's also played superheroes Kick-Ass and Quicksilver. Taylor Johnson is also returning to Marvel with the title role in the upcoming Kraven the Hunter. I guess the MCU has gone through so many actors that they're circling back around again. Yes, Kraven is a Sony film and thus may be separate from the MCU, but for how long? Soon all films will be MCU films. The innocent looking but deadly prince has been gender swapped with Joey King playing the role. Joey King has a career longer than some of her older co-stars. She's been acting professionally since four years old 
and has recently been the lead in Netflix's The Kissing Booth film series. She also has roles dating back to the sweet life of Zack and Cody. This might be the most villainous role she's ever had, though her huge IMDb page may prove me wrong. Hunting Prince is Andrew Kochi as Kimura. He is seen only briefly in the trailer, duct taping a knife to a stick or a pole. He's not as heavily featured as the others, but he is one of the five central players in the book's plot. It'll be interesting to see how important he is in the film. The trailer does heavily feature Bad Bunny though. Yes, that's the actor's name. Well, his stage name at least. Bad Bunny is a well-known musician and newly turned actor. The trailer isn't clear what his role in the film is. IMDB has his character name listed as Benito Antonio Martinez Ocasio, which is Bad Bunny's real name. So he might be playing himself, or at least a version of himself that desperately wants to stab Brad Pitt. You should talk to Jennifer Aniston about it. Bullet Train is exclusively in theaters on July 15th and looks like a fun ride. No more train puns, I promise. I'm sure we'll have our fill between now and when the movie comes out. I'm excited for Bullet Train mostly due to the interesting premise and unique way Pitt's character wants to de-escalate every fight. I know I'll have my tickets to board this summer and I can't wait to blow the whistle on this locomotive. I lied about the train puns. I'll never be done. Shoot you, mother 